Hey everyone, so the first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area but not in my typical way. When I was doing my base I took my foundation across the eye area and now to set it in place I'm dusting and pressing some of my face powder onto the skin. If you don't have a primer this technique works just as well. The foundation disguises any discoloration on my lids and the powder sets that and gives me a nice smooth blank base to apply my shadows on top. Of. I'm using some Charlotte Tilbury products for the first time today. The epitome of luxury. This is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. You've got four rosy natural shades, two matte, two shimmers and the first shade I'm taking is the top right one. I've picked up some of this on a fluffy blending brush and as always tapped away the excess because I don't want uh, fallout down my face. I want to avoid that at all costs because I've got my base done and I don't fancy a big clean up once I'm finished with the eyes. So as you can see, I'm working this shadow back and forth in the crease. It's a nice, warm, deep, pinky peach shade. And I was very happy with how this applied. It was nice and soft, but not really powdery in the pan. I didn't have any kickback really, and it blends nice and easily. It's nice and opaque on first application, but as you know, I like to apply my shadows in layers. So I'm adding a second layer of this shadow now just to intensify the color a touch more. But overall, very happy with the quality of the shadow. It blended out really, really nicely. So now I'm switching to a smaller bullet shaped brush and I'm working this shadow now down along the lower lash line and as always I'm making sure to connect it up on that outer edge. Next then I'm taking the shadow just below the one that I use, so the second matte on the bottom right and I'm using this blending brush now again, the same one and adding it into the crease uh, to deepen up the look slightly and this is a kind of warm rosy brown, again as I mentioned it's another one of the matte shades in the palette and um, this performs more or less the same as the previous shade however on my eyes it just gives a hint of depth, I think it would look more striking if the shadow was a little bit deeper. I think when the two shadows are blended together it's kind of hard to differentiate between the two but still nice all the same. So once I'm happy with how that looks I'm lightly dusting another layer of the shadow to build up the intensity and then I'm going to move down to the lower lash line because what I do to the top I do to the bottom. So I'm just sweeping some of that shade now once more just from outer to inner corner Next then we're going to add some sparkle to the lid, so I'm taking that bottom left shade, it's a gorgeous rose gold shimmery shade. Now initially I applied this shadow directly from the pan with my flat C shaped brush and it's like you just get the top layer of the shadow, so just that golden sparkle, you don't get the colour of the base shadow if you get me. Um, it's nice if you just want a subtle shimmer to the lid, but I wanted more of a pop. So I went back in then with a second layer, but this time I sprayed my brush with some setting spray and I applied the shadow to the lid. This time, as you can see, it packs way more of a punch. I'm getting that nice rolled go rose gold finish that I had expected and have a nice wet look to the lid. So I definitely recommend using some sort of a medium to bring the shadow to its full potential. Finally then I'm using that top left light peach kind of frosty shade. I'm using this to highlight around the tear duct of my eye. So again, like before, I decided to use this shadow dry first just to see what I was working with and it's fine. It gave a very subtle sheen to around the tear duct but I wanted more. So I went in with another layer of the shadow, this time wet, and I got to work buffing this around the tear duct and it's just like night and day the shadow performed much much better in this way. So to line the eyes then I'm taking the classic eye powder pencil, it's a gorgeous kind of I suppose rich warm brown and it really complements the look nicely I think. So I'm running this back and forth inside the eye to coat the waterline and then I'm closing my eye around the pencil lining back and forth and this is going to do the top waterline as well. I got a little bit of a leaky eye when I was filming so from here on I was trying to be very careful on that outer corner because I didn't want my eyes to leak further and disturb the makeup that I'd laid down and what I'm doing now is just working some of that pencil to the outer portion of the upper lash line. This doesn't have to be neat at all because we will be smudging it out. Just get some sort of a line on the outer third of the upper lash line and then what you're going to do is take a smudger brush or any kind of a synthetic brush because it works best with cream products and I'm just using back and forth strokes to blend the pencil out. It's nice and creamy so it blends very easily. I just want a small little bit of definition on that outer corner. 
Then I'm going back in with my blending brush and the darker of the two matte shadows and I'm sweeping this over the top of the pencil just to make sure that it blends in nicely into the skin. And then what I'm going to do is apply some lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in the style Shy. They're part of the natural lash range, of course, they're they're optional um because i'm going to add some mascara and this is the pillow talk push-up lashes i'm using this then to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and to also coat the lower lashes and that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial you found it helpful maybe got some information um about how the products perform and just an insight into how they perform how they work on the eyes um and i will catch you all really soon